Spencer from the upcoming. A real pleasure to have you here with us this evening. Um, if you could just kick off with, you know, a bit about yourself and why you wanted to be here to support this film tonight. Of course. So my name's Eugene Simon. I'm known as uh, uh, Lancel Lannister on Game of Thrones, and I've been encouraged to come here uh, by uh, my reps who showed me the video of the story, and I just couldn't take my eyes off it and uh, the story of a mother doing that much to care for her daughter is um, enough to drag anyone in so I, I, I got a, I got a little bit hooked and so I'm, I'm really excited for what we're gonna what we're gonna see tonight and films that focus on issues such as this I think there's the power of art the power of cinema to help us have empathy and hopefully bring about change for support for, for for issues such as this yeah I think a lot of people think about what it's like to be dyslexic if they have someone who they know or maybe a child that's born with it so it's kind kind of nice to be watching a movie that's sort of going to give that to you just by just simply by sitting in a cinema so I like that I like the feeling that we're all going to come away a little bit more compassionate after this for specifically dyslexia but also stories stories can be amazing on their own terms and I, this definitely sounds like one so congrats confetti and congrats Han and who have I pronounced that right and uh you know, thinking back to your time, work on Game of Thrones, had you ever predicted it would blow up and be sort of world famous in the way it was? And what were some of your favorite memories from being involved with I didn't predict the, the show doing as well as it was. I got, um, I had a conversation with um, Ian McElhenney, who played Barris and Selmy. He was reading the book behind the scenes on the first season. And I said, what do you think, Ian? Do you think this is going to do well? And he closed the book and just goes, you know what, Eugene, I think it might do quite well. And I sort of went, oh, that's good. So yes, it, but I was thrilled that it did um, and um, I am also I haven't yet sat down and marathon my way through House of the Dragon but I do like Matt Smith so I've got a chance to see him as a Targaryen so I'm, just glad, I'm glad that it's carried on I'm glad that we've got a, a whole universe to explore and what about your things you're working on now I'm, I believe you've been involved with this film The Fence yeah absolutely I can't wait to I cannot wait for you guys to see it The Fence is a 1980s indie comedy punk kind of comedy set in Bristol in the 1980s so my accent comes back the moment I start the moment I start thinking about Bristol it comes back um, I play Andy he's a uh, at first glance, he's a skinhead, but he is a, an older brother to the main character. And it's about a young man who buys a, mo a motorbike, and on the same day that he buys it, it gets stolen from him. And it's his journey to try and get it back. So it's all about finding the fences, the people who you sell stuff to, who have done it. And it's a really heartwarming story based on the director's father. So if you guys have time, Google the fence trailer uh, and you'll see it. And it's out now, right now, in the southwest. And, you'll, and you can stream it next next Friday as well, which is the 28th of October. So if you see this before then, please watch it. It's great fun. Amazing. And, and in terms of your future career, have you got your sights set on working with a particular director, a different genre? What would you like to do next? I know I know directors who I adore and as a as a pure fantasy because I've always always enjoyed Paul Thomas Anderson's movies. But you have to you have to think about someone who you really really love and hope that you get the chance to. Um, so I've always enjoyed his films, but um, I do at the moment I'm I'm very lucky. Touch wood because I'm I'm taking I'm, I hope I'm not jinxing it by saying it, but there's a project coming up in uh, April. Uh, called Steal Away. Uh, again, maybe I'm jinxing it, maybe I'll regret saying this, hope not. Uh, but it's looking good and uh, we're going to hopefully be, uh, be getting, putting, actually filming it in, uh, in the right place in, in April. And it's a wonderful film. If you haven't seen it, check out Steal Away online. It's a beautiful story about the Fisk Jubilee Singers. Amazing. Thanks so much for your time. Really enjoy the evening. Thank you.